Hey guys, this is Chloe from France. Oh well, I'm in Dublin right now. I've been living here since uh, September and I don't really have any drum kit around. I get to jam with some friends uh, once every three or four weeks, but uh, play is not practicing, so... Um, anyways, I came up with the idea uh, that since I've been a member of Max Lessons for about two years now, um, I would do something that would improve my drumming. Uh, I won't get to practice that much, quite busy with my studies and everything. Uh, and when I get to play, I just jam with people or I play along to some music, but I don't practice properly, which is not good. So um, I came up with the idea that I would, um, as of now, and until my next departure, which is going to be towards mid, you know, the end of July, I don't really know, but I need to be there in August. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm coming back to France in June and I should be leaving for the US at the end of July. So we'll have about seven weeks, six, seven weeks in France with my drum set um, to get something done about it. Um, so the thing is that since I've been a member of Mike's Lessons and Mike was telling us to do what we wanted to do uh, with his lessons, uh, the first thing I came up with was to reverse the exercises as a left-handed, uh, lead with the left hand, making make it tricky by changing the left, I mean, the leading hand. So uh, as a, as a right-handed drummer, I would play uh, the stuff Mike gave us as a left-handed on a right-handed kit. So it was not really left-handed. It was kind of something different that was tricky for the coordination. And, um, and I want to take this to the next level and take a whole drum set and put it as a left-handed kit and see how it goes. Um, I was looking for a way to improve my left hand and my left foot as I have a double pillar and it's it's hard to just... I mean, it's just like when you play your rudiments and your left hand doesn't want to go faster. With your feet it's the same thing. So um, I guess you become stronger on one side by practicing on it. So I will, um, as, as soon as I get home uh, in June, I will change my kit as a left-handed kit and I should be posting a video update on how it goes every week. So it's gonna be like five videos or something. Um, and hopefully I get somewhere. Uh, it might be really hard, I have no idea. The only thing I know is that when I practice my rudiments on my pad, as a left-handed, it's already tough because I have to concentrate so much not to just somehow switch to a right-handed pattern somewhere in the thing. So, um, so yeah. Um, so that was the thing. Uh, it's kind of a personal challenge, really. Um, but it might interest you. It's, it's a stupid idea. It's really basic. But uh, some of you might want to try, <laughs> give it a go and see how it goes. Um, I'd be glad if any of you tries it and post a video saying, hey, I'm doing it, here is how it goes. I personally have not much time for it anyways because, as I said, like, I don't, I can't really play on a drum set so often and, um, and I'm only coming home on, like, May 26, May 25, 26, um, and then again I will have only, like, six weeks at home before going abroad again, so, um, so yeah, it's just something that really um, could go somewhere, could go nowhere. <laughs> I have no idea. I will just try and um, and see how it goes. Um, I hope you're all doing well and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.